Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be over my top picks for bridal perfumes. So if you're planning a wedding and you are the bride or the mother of the bride or you're in the wedding party, then these are fragrances that I thought are especially picked for that special day. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video over some of my favorite fragrances that I would choose for a wedding day. Okay, so like I was saying, you know, these fragrances would be perfect for, you know, the bride. I, I kind of especially picked them out for a bride. That was what I had in mind. Those were my intentions. So, but I think these would be great fragrances, you know, if you're in the bridal party, if you're the mother of the bride, depending on, you know, my choices. There are a variety of choices that you can choose from, but I just thought these were perfect scents for a wedding ceremony. Something uh, for every occasion, something maybe for an evening wedding, something for a daytime wedding, something that is more, you know, in the spring, something a little more for the fall, a little heavier, but I always want to kind of keep my fragrances a lighter. I would think a bride wants to just feel uh, beautiful, you know, not too over the top, nothing, you know, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with being over the top. I'm all about some over the top perfume. That's just me, but I'm just thinking, you know, bridal, keep it light, keep it fresh, keep it feminine, beautiful, you know, along those lines. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about my wedding day. Wedding day was August the 24th of 1991. And the fragrance that I wore that day was called Beautiful by Estee Lauder. Um, I believe Beautiful came out like in the 80s, the later 80s, and that was just a beautiful fragrance. I mean, it just fit perfectly for the day. I love that scent. It always made me feel really feminine, and of course, now if you, if you smelled it, it would probably smell dated, yes, but it's still a really beautiful fragrance if you get your hands on it. I haven't had a bottle of that in forever. Like I said, I got not married in 1991. So um, yeah, we're going to be celebrating our 27th wedding anniversary. Now these are some of the perfumes that if I had my choice of, you know, if I was getting married today, these are some of the fragrances that I would choose. So number one, I'm going to just start it off. And of course, y'all know I love this. And this is Gucci 2 by Gucci. It's got beautiful floral scents in it. It's black currant, black currant. Oh my goodness. It's just a lovely fragrance. And if you know me and you've listened to me and you've watched my videos, then you know I absolutely love this fragrance. I have many videos about this fragrance, but it's floral. It's beautiful. It's feminine. It's well on the skin. It lasts a long time. It's just a perfect fragrance, and I think that you would really enjoy this for your perfect day. Okay, and the next favorite of mine is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, and this is just an amazing fragrance. If you've ever smelled this, it's a little on the sweet side. It's floral. It has rose in it, but it's a beautiful rose. It has Sambac Jasmine. It has patchouli in it, musk. So it is a floral fragrance but it's sweet and it smells divine. I absolutely love this. You definitely need to try this out. This would be perfect for your wedding day. This sits very, very well on the skin. It lasts you a long time and the sillage is really nice on this fragrance and I just, I just love it. It's a really, really beautiful fragrance. You definitely need to try this one out. Okay, another perfume that I absolutely love, and this is by Lancome, and this is my second bottle. It's called Tresser in Love, and this smells so feminine, so clean, so fresh, and it's fruity. It has a fruity, like a nectarine, I think is in this, peach. You can smell the fruitiness of it and floralness of it, and it's just a great scent. It does last a very long time on the skin. When you whisk by, if you go down that aisle and they smell you, it's just like, oh my goodness, she smells amazing. So I definitely think this would be a classy woman would wear this. 
I think a very feminine woman would wear this. I mean, these are all very feminine, you know, classier fragrances that I'm talking about today. These are all designer fragrances. And this one is just amazing. I love this perfume. I've gotten a lot of compliments when I wear this perfume. And like I said, it's not like a head turner, but when you whisk by them, they're like, you smell so pretty. It's just a really feminine, soft fragrance. And I really, really love this one. Okay, this next fragrance is actually kind of gourmand, I think. It is a sweet fragrance, and this is La Vie Belle. And this is by Lancome. And I have this one, and I also have one that's called Eclat. Now, Eclat is a little bit different. Um, it does dry down kind of sweet, but it, when you first spray that one, it's like, boom, orange blossom. So it's very kind of zesty or citrusy right at the, f at the first spray. This one is just beautiful all the way around, very soft. They absolutely love this perfume. And I think this is a very classic perfume. This would be great for a wedding day. I think it smells very feminine, very soft, very romantic. I see this, you know, maybe, you know, when you're getting married somewhere, your hair is just like really long and tossily, just kind of a romantic kind of perfume. It is kind of, you know, fantasy-like uh, fragrance. It's very sweet, and I think it's very delectable. Definitely try your fragrances out before you purchase them. I really, really highly recommend that, especially for a day like your wedding day. You know, you don't want to get something that you're gonna spray for the first time and you're not gonna like it. I mean, it's just, you don't want that day to be ruined. So definitely go out, try your fragrances, just, you know, wear them around for a little while before you decide to wear it for that special day of yours. But this is definitely a great one. Lancome, La Vie Belle. Okay, the next fragrance is by YSL Yves Saint Laurent, and this is Mon Paris. And this fragrance is really beautiful, feminine, floral, fruity. And this one is definitely a punch. Like, I would spray this very lightly. It lasts all day, all night. So the longevity of this perfume is really, really good. The sillage is there. When you walk into the room, you walk down that aisle, they're gonna smell you. This is definitely, I would say, a head turner. There are people that, of all ages, that love this fragrance. I've talked to many people that are, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, on up there. So this is kind of like a broad, uh, type of perfume, you know, to suit any age, really, any age appropriate, because um, it has like some fruitiness to it. So it's kind of fun and zippy, zesty, citrusy also. And then it also has the sweetness to it. And it does have that fruitiness to it, but then it has, you know, that soft, kind of sweet, powdery scent as well. So this is really a beautiful fragrance. I really love it. But like I said, be very gentle on the spray because it is very, you know, the, the sillage is very out there. So definitely um, use a light hand. Now I'm not saying, hey, if you like it, you spray it, it's yours. But I'm just saying, you know, if you don't want it to be too overbearing, I would definitely use a light hand. Try it out before your wedding day. You know, wear it, spray it how you want, see how it goes. I would definitely test this one out prior to your wedding day just to kind of make sure that you're not kind of overdoing it because you can overdo this one just a little bit just a little bit but it's a really beautiful fragrance i really love it okay the next fragrance is flora by gucci and this is the eau de toilette and i think this would be perfect for a wedding day i have been wearing this and it's so beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance and it's just the floral notes in it are gorgeous and they're lighthearted and it's just a very bright, fun, loving fragrance, floral fragrance. And I think this would be something great to wear on your wedding day. It's clean, it's very feminine, it's soft, but it has those floral notes. It does have patchouli in it, Annie is in this. And it just is a, a beautiful fragrance. And I think that 
if you did wear this you would just smell amazing and I really think that anyone that smells this on you would think the same thing that oh what a beautiful bride and how wonderful and beautiful she smells the longevity on me I would say this probably lasts about four to five hours so if this is something you want to wear for the ceremony and then maybe you know your reception you're gonna have like a dance a party or something like that and you want to get something a little bit more heavier you could definitely do that but this I'd say about four to five hours for this one if you're having just a kind of intimate wedding and it's not you know it's not like an all-nighter wedding I think this would be a great fragrance for you okay this is my last fragrance now this one might be a little bit controversial you may not agree with me but I'm thinking you want something with some longevity with the sillage and you want something to stay on your skin you want something very beautiful you want something that's you know um, fruity floral just a combination of everything something that just makes you feel something that makes you feel very beautiful romantic but also sexy in the same sense so I would say Dolce & Gabbana the one would be the fragrance because this is sexy musky sweet at the same time fruity and floral I mean it's got a little bit of everything and I really think you know like a classic woman sexy woman you want to be sexy on your wedding day I think something like this would be perfect it lasts all day all night long and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous scent yeah I mean this would be good for outdoor, indoor, daytime, nighttime, anytime. This would be just an anytime fragrance. And I I can't get enough of this fragrance. I mean, I had to buy me a couple of bottles of this stuff. And <laughs> it's it's just amazing because it's like it's floral, but then it's sweet at the same time. So it's like, do you think it's kind of like gourmand almost? It, it is almost kind of like edible to me in a way but it's not so it's just a beautiful fragrance you're gonna have to try it out for yourself definitely go to the store and spritz this one on you this is Dolce & Gabbana the one and I really think that you would be pleasantly surprised for your wedding day if you chose something like this I think this is a great performer and just a wonderful beautiful scent okay so those are my picks for like a bridal arsenal you know um, something that she can choose from I definitely think these fragrances are so beautiful in their own right and I think you should definitely go out and try some of these fragrances let me know if you do try them out let me know if you like them let me know if you don't like them it's just a matter of preference so I do not hate on anyone that doesn't agree with me I, I, I definitely don't if you don't agree with me that's fine that's your opinion and I totally you know I welcome your opinion because fragrances are a personal thing but I like what you like maybe two different things and I respect your opinions just like I hope you respect my opinions and I love y'all so much I thank y'all so much for all of your support and I hope to hear from y'all in the comment section down below and let me know what you wore on your wedding day let me know when you got married I would love to know I love getting to know all my peacocks out there so definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you have any suggestions for videos definitely leave them in the comment section below you know I'm reading those comments and I love y'all so much and thanks for joining me today and I hope to see y'all in my next video bye y'all